Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. This is not going to be a long one at all because we got rain coming. I can see the clouds. They're super ominous and uh, we've got a, a pretty big storm cell coming in. So um, I wanted to come out here really quickly to talk about how beneficial fungi helps your plants obtain over 75% of the nutrients that they need to grow. That's right. Another organism is accountable for over 75% of your success in the garden. Let's talk about how and why. So today I was out here fertilizing up my peach trees. I usually go through mid-season and apply some fertilizer because they, they tend to go through a big growth spurt and in order to continue that growth, they need nutrients. And when I pulled the mulch away, I saw something remarkable that I wanted to bring you all along for because it's always really, uh, it's, something, it's really easy to talk about it, but it's not always so easy to show you. And it was incredible to see the actual uh, fungi at work underneath the mulch layer when I pulled it back. And so that's what prompted me to film this episode. So let's go check out what the fungi look like and then let's explain how they actually are, account uh, how they are held accountable for over 75% of the nutrients being made plant available. So I came down here and I pulled the mulch away and I was pulling it away and what did I see other than a huge web of white hyphae. Look at this stuff at work. You see that white? That white is hyphae and it's basically the roots of the fungi. The fungi live in networks and they move throughout the soil, breaking down organic matter and turning them into bioavailable nutrients for the plant. Now, when they're in your soil, and you can, you, can, uh, you can see them here, when they're in your soil, they're very temperamental to sunlight and salt buildup, which is why in an organic system, it's very important to, to maintain the organic system that you have because that welcomes the beneficial fungi in that break down that organic matter, just like they're breaking down this mulch. So we wanna cover them up because they're very sensitive to sunlight, and we wanna make sure to not use any synthetic fertilizers because that adds salts, which build up and end up killing soil bacteria and soil fungi. The most common form of beneficial fungi that we as gardeners come across is mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza is both endo and ectomycorrhiza, and depending on which plant that you have will depend on the type of fungus that you have growing as well. See, endo and ectomycorrhiza need a host plant. And that those white, that white mold that you saw, the hyphae, that is the roots of basically what, what would be considered the roots of the fungi. And what they do is they go throughout what's called the rhizosphere. The rhizosphere is a level of one to three inches of soil that is rich in beneficial fungi and bacteria. And what they do is they will break down that organic matter and they will search out minerals from within the soil. And the reason why they're in the top one to three inches of soil is because that's the layer that they're typically found, what's typically found as the top soil layer. So all around us, there's a very thin layer of topsoil. That topsoil is the life. That topsoil is what, that is what basically hosts all the bacteria and fungi that are, that are essential for plant life. And so what they do is they go out and they mine those minerals from the topsoil layer. And what they, then what they do is they bring them back to the plant. And when they bring them back to the plant, the plant has no ability to break down nutrients. The plant has no ability to break down organic matter and the plant has no ability to actually access those, those nutrients in the soil unless they're made plant available. But there's a miracle going on underneath the soil in that rhizosphere and that's because the leaves generate sugars through photosynthesis. However, the fungi, they need a host. Because they do not have leaves and because they cannot photosynthesize, they need a sugar source. They need a carbohydrate source and that's what gives the energy. So because they need the carbohydrates, they say, they came up with a very ingenious way of getting that. They say, I will go out and I will search for all the macronutrients and the micronutrients and I will bring them back to your root system. I'm going to connect with your roots in little nodules and I'm going to connect to your roots forming chains and those chains will basically be a bucket brigade of nutrients coming back to the plant in exchange for sugars that you create. And so the plant, since it's a win-win situation, 
We call this symbiosis. This is, a pro this is basically a process in which two organisms that are totally unlike, uh, that are totally separated, come together for a common cause of bettering each other. And I just think this is an absolutely wild concept and something that I really want a lot of you to understand. Um, I've had a lot of people come to me and ask, you know, really, what is the purpose we grow organically? What is the, the real reason? And so for those of you that are not growing to keep chemicals out of your food or to keep synthetic, uh, synthetic stuff out of your, your soil, uh, there's actually a bigger reason. And that's because synthetics and chemicals, they harm life. And what we as gardeners wanna do is we wanna encourage that life. We wanna actually build the life. And the more life we have, the better our plants can be. And that's why farmers have noticed when they do go organically, they notice that their plants are so much less stressed. Their plants, uh, they have to fertilize so much less. They have to water so much less. And the pests and diseases that come are, are so infrequent because those natural systems, they take care of themselves. And it really is the way to maximizing success without having to work as hard. And I really am excited about this topic and this concept. And so I hope you all have enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. I, uh, I really wanna make sure that you all understand this component because uh, I'm passionate about organic gardening for so many reasons. But if there was one reason why I'm passionate and why I want you to be passionate about it, it's because there's so much work that can be done that you don't have to do. There's so much work that can be done from other things that happen naturally when you just allow it to. So. I hope you all enjoyed I hope you learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.